everyone's been waiting, even very famous celebrities, for the results of the one year airflow test. Yes, my friends, we are still running them and we are doing the video, but there's only one small problem. Luke doesn't work here anymore to do the stunning conclusion. So we're gonna have to walk all the way over to Floatplane Media's office. Hello. And get Luke to help me check out which one worked or if they all didn't work. Brought to you by Tunnel Bear. Tunnel Bear believes the internet should be more open and private. Try it out for free at tunnelbear.com slash LTT. We'll have that linked below. I actually had very little involvement in this project. What is going on here? Well, there's any Audi and in betweeny like there was before. Mm -hmm. Audi has more fans blowing out, or I think all the fans blowing out. Any has all the fans blowing in, and in betweeny is fairly balanced. They have all been running for over a year behind the old set. Yeah. But then we built this mezzanine that we're standing in, and then we tore down that set. So once the mezzanine was done, and before the set got torn down, they got moved up here to the office. But they were out in the warehouse under the worst possible conditions, literally construction zone. Let's not entirely dismiss the possibility that we will learn something today. Even if what we learn is that we're idiots and we don't know how to perform a controlled experiment. So which one is supposed to be the worst by the conventional wisdom? I think most people think that all in is the worst. Okay, so let's get the other ones. No, wait, wait, wait. No, no, all out is supposed to be the worst. But all in, these aren't, these aren't, so oh, the no, top no, no, and wait. back aren't. This is supposed to be the bad one. Okay. All out, and then it sucks air into the crevices. Yes, yes. Okay, yes, okay, yes. okay, so this is the one we start with. So the outside isn't really something to judge because they would have all had a bunch of dust settle on the top. And it's not that terrible. I mean, like, I'm gonna do one streak on the power supply. Yeah. I mean, it's not great. It's not great. Um, having a look at our fan, though, really makes me wonder how it is that people get their computers disgusting enough <laughs> to be like gummed up. Wow, there's a there's cobwebs in here. That bottom filter Whew. was definitely doing something. And this is Audi. This is Audi. So that means this one it was pulling through a filter. It should have been sucking all the air in from elsewhere. So in the this case. is another thing we have to be careful with. This. This is another thing where it's fairly case specific because a lot of cases don't have that huge filtered mesh on the bottom. So you can also see here that with the Audi case, we've actually got a lot of dust build up here, and you can assume that for every bit of dust on this mesh, yeah, more got pulled in. Yeah. Actually, this is a good thing. Well, sort of a good thing, but it's a good thing to see. So our graphics card does have a dust bunny inside it. Yeah. So that's some buildup. So our CPU is good. Yeah. So on the top was good. So it actually didn't suck that much in. Because it was blasting here. everything out, which yeah. makes sense. So the CPU is like sheltered almost, because everything around it was like, no, get out. Yeah. So you can actually you can see some dust streaks on these cable management holes, and then, but not much. I bet you the graphics card was breathing through here and through here. Power supply's clean for that. Because it's through a filter. Actually, that area of the filter is yeah. pretty concentrated. Any dust that's caught in this filter was already in the computer. Okay, interesting. So that's all pulled from inside. And these fans have a fair amount of buildup in them, actually. I think the main takeaway with this one is that even in a construction zone where clearly there was a lot of dusty buildup on top, most of your dust is coming into your case from the bottom. So if you put your computer on the ground... Because we didn't have fans blowing out of the bottom. That's right. Yeah. You might have a bad time. Want to do the other extreme? Let's do the that. The test is still bad. We're already learning something. Hold on, this is the one that is sucking this everything is in. in. This is everything in. Yeah. So theoretically, yeah, this isn't going to be good either. I don't well, no, okay, let's start with the bottom. Okay. Ah, oh, interesting. That's weird. The power supply area doesn't have much dust. No, it doesn't. Because the air is blowing out of here, getting filtered, and then being sucked into here. There's two fans. Like, hold on, there's one, two, three, four, five fans 
worth of pressure going out of here. This effectively has a skirt around it. Oh yeah, okay, so there's dust on this, but it's not on it's the on bottom. It's on the inside. It's on the top. Yeah, it's definitely on the top. That's so weird. So okay. the power supply is completely clean. Yeah. How interesting. That is interesting. See, we are learning things. It's, I did not see this one coming. That is, okay, that's cooler than I expected. I will definitely give it that. Well, I wanna see the front. Okay. It's filtering stuff. This is telling us that this case's intake system is like not that great. Because these are about as dusty this as stuff, the other one. This stuff is on the outside because yeah. it's pulling through. That makes sense. Ooh, some dust oh, like flew wow. away when you did that. Like, and it's loose, which is interesting. Power so supply test. Our graphics card has no dust. That's a little more gnarly it. than last time. Definitely more dust just How lying around. How is the around. CPU? Because there's, okay, there's also definitely more dust on the back fan. CPU is a the lot top worse. Fans. So GPU is a little bit better. Yep. Power supply is better. This case does not have filters on the top or the back. So you don't get too experienced. So that. the main takeaway from this one is that more airflow right around an area is going to give you a much, much higher concentration of dust. And that, again, poor planning is ultimately what's going to kill you. Yeah. Is, is the graphics card better or worse on this one? Oh, it's way worse way worse. So the GPU over there had to breathe in through this, which was very apparent. Yeah. And it breathed in junky, dusty air. That's right. This one is actually breathing good air, but that's the only piece and the power supply. Interesting. I wouldn't have thought that having a filtered fan like blowing towards the graphics card would affect the movement of the air inside, like the currents inside enough to be the difference. Okay, so this is sort of the, um, like the recommended way. So it's neither one extreme nor the other. Most people would go with a setup similar to this. So it's important to note that even though we've actually got four fans pulling in and two going out, the ones coming in are filtered. So these filtered ones coming in should have much less airflow than the non-filtered ones going out. Yeah. So right off the bat, our CPU is pretty good. I would say almost as, wow, almost as good but not quite. As there is still... One. No, not quite at all. There's definitely still noticeable dust, and that one was, like, actually clean. So this one, what's interesting is that even though it's using a poor method of keeping dust out of your system, what it does do is it focuses all the dust that it does pull in on the bottom and then sucked it all through that filter for this particular case. And here a bit. Yeah, and it's going to change with every case. Okay, should we have a look at the filters? Then yeah. The bottom first? Yeah. Okay, I'll tilt it. Okay, so as expected, this one doesn't have an air curtain around it, so the power supply does draw air through the filter. The filter didn't even stop everything. Nope, the filter didn't stop everything at all. And there's a lot of dust on this. Yeah. This is easily the most concentrated. Wow, there's like hairs. Look at this. There's like strands of wet. Okay, there's a little bit of that on any. Yeah, that makes sense. Because these are pulling in, right? Yep. Yeah. Ugh. And like, it plumed. Okay, so that's as expected. So no dust bunny in the GPU. GPU fan, mostly clear. This one had more fans and got slightly more total dust, which kind of makes sense. Which makes sense. The and the filters are slightly more clogged, which makes sense. But overall, I'd say it's probably more balanced. The CPU got hit, but not as hard as it did on the really bad CPU case. Yeah. But the not GPU as good as it hit, did the other time. And but the not as well much as this one. Yeah. Interesting. So it ended up being in between, which is was. kind of what we were aiming for. We just didn't know it was actually going to work that way. <laughs> Here you go then. The main takeaways are on your intake fans, you want to have filtered air to the greatest degree possible. And the more airflow you have, the more dusty buildup you are ultimately going to have. Yeah. I think a balanced approach is good, but you're gonna have to think about your particular case, your particular setup. Like if you're on the floor, then one of the big things we learned is you want a bunch of exhaust on the floor yeah. to keep dust away from your system. It actually works. Yeah, yeah. And then the other big takeaway is that FreshBooks 
is the small business accounting solution for, uh, well, small business owners and freelancers. So whether you're running a plumbing business or you're running a house painting business or, or dust management, doing cleaning people's computers for them for a few bucks on the side, which by the way can be very lucrative, FreshBooks helps you stay more organized, get paid faster, and track your expenses, log your hours, and even do all of that stuff on the go with their fully featured Android and iOS apps. Try FreshBooks for free at freshbooks.com slash LTT. We're gonna have that linked below. Just enter Linus Tech Tips in the How Did You Hear About Us section. So that was actually more enlightening than I thought. I'm surprised. I thought they were just all gonna be butchered because of the construction zone. So guys, if you just like this video, then like, come on, we finally did it. You were all asking for it. But if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured. No. No, no, most of this I wouldn't buy. Uh, whatever, we've got our merch store linked in the video description and our community forum, which you should totally join. For those of you going, hey, Luke's back. Where did Luke go? He's working on Floatplane. Yeah. Uh, go check out Floatplane. Yeah. When, when is this video coming out? I don't know. There might be the alpha up. Yeah, maybe. Or not. See ya! Bye!